Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson in C-sharp programming. We are going to write a program that calculates the remaining travel time. If you know the average uh, speed in kilometer each hour and remaining uh, millage in miles. You can assume that the average speed is maintained throughout the remainder millage. The result should be presented as in the uh, figure. And uh, we are going to ask the average, has, uh, average uh, speed and we are going to ask about the remaining millage and then uh, we are going to calculate how many uh, uh, how many time remaining travel time uh, we have uh, for this uh, first of all we are going to uh, google and the right uh, search of their Visual Studio Download um, You can uh, use it download or free download free download and uh, then uh, you are selecting this one and uh, you are going to be in Visual Studio Microsoft or download Visual Studio 2019 for Windows and Mac and uh, you are going to use this one it must be Microsoft.com and then it is the uh, Visual Studio 2019 community uh, per, uh, professional enterprise and we prefer the community and you use free download and install it in your program I have installed it um, uh, 2017 and in the uh, under start you are going down uh, to uh, Visual Studio 2017 and press and it uh, opens the uh, Microsoft and under file you are using new project and here console application when you press you are uh, the browser is putting your program in one place and you are going to uh, uh, give a name here you are going to uh, uh, give a name and you are going to change uh, where uh, you should uh, uh, replace it in your hard disk okay and uh, we are going uh, when uh, it is uh, started it uh, starts uh, that uh, window and using system using system collection generic uh, using link system link using li uh, system text it appear automatically otherwise you can add uh, those uh, uh, those uh, uh, classes and the name space is uh, something that I have used to give one and class program is a program class and in this uh, solution explorer it is a tree of what in uh, what it is in uh, our name space. Uh, we have proper, uh, properties, re references, and program.cs, which is the class. And in the class, we have a main function, a static void main function, and we are going to use console right line. Please enter your average speed and uh, we are going to use a double value uh, double V equals double push of what we are going to read from the uh, screen and we are going then asking after please enter the estimate distance and then we are going to read it in another double value like S and uh, 
double push console read line and we are going to calculate the integer part of s divided by v multiplied by 10 because we have a, we are asking after mile and a mile is 10 kilometer that is because 10 uh, multiplied by s divided by v velocity and we are going to convert into integer and put it in an integer th we cannot they, they cannot implicitly convert you must use that convert to int 32 then we are going to have a double value tm which is the that part minus the integer uh, part multiplied by 60 which is give, gives uh, the minutes and we are going to write console write learn the estimate time is that part which is the th is in integer hours and that part which is the minutes tm and then uh, instead of uh, 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 finish the program we are going to ask if if uh, do you want to continue yes or no if you uh, press yes you are going to start that is because we have we are using the start label at the beginning and we are going to use go to start uh, some people doesn't uh, uh, use go to but it works uh, very prof uh, proper and uh, we can uh, run it anyway otherwise we can in another uh, in other uh, tutorials we are going to use another type which is more uh, uh, acceptable now we are running use control f5 until your average speed I am telling um, 50 50 and estimate f 5 mile and it is 1 hour and not 0 minutes do you want continue? yes I am using uh, 60 and 3 is 30 minutes to the to the end and we are going to use no and press to terminate the program okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial